Hey all my foodie friends, I hope you're well. Thanks for stopping by the channel. I'm always so happy to see you guys. Today I'm going to review a couple of food products from Zoglos. They're plant-based proteins. Are they yummy or are they yucky? Let's find out. The two products I'm going to have a look at are the Sausage Links and the Pub Style Tenders. Both things that I would probably buy normally. So let's see what the plant-based versions are like. They come frozen and you just have to pop them in the oven and reheat them. They are fully cooked already. The sausage looks really good like a sausage that I would normally fry up in the morning for breakfast sometimes. Instead of being pork, this is plant-based, although it looks just like pork filling. There are the pub style tenders. They look like little chicken tenders that you would buy. Beautifully brown um, breadcrumbs on the outside and on the inside. It looks a bit dark for chicken tenders. Chicken tenders normally tend to be pretty white as if they were breast meat. This is a bit darker. Let's have a look in detail at the appearance, aroma and taste. Do they taste as good as they look? So the sausage links had brown sausage, they smelled smoky, had good texture, However, the seasoning was pretty faint and it, it was dry. The tenders that had dark interior, they smelled oily. Crispy exterior, spongy interior, but also bland. Nutritionally, they all fall within guidelines, but I want you to watch a couple of things here. Both portion sizes on the sausage links and the tenders are for two pieces. So for the sausages, for two pieces, it's 530 milligrams of salt, a quarter of your salt intake, and seven grams of fat, almost half your fat intake for the day. Is it worth it for two sausage links? I don't know. When I'm having breakfast on a Sunday morning, I might have three or four sausage links, so this wouldn't be worth it. Are they yummy or are they yuck? Well, both of them are pretty yucky. I wouldn't buy either one of them again. But plant-based protein is hit and miss, I find. Some are good and some not so good. You'll have to try it and let me know. Thanks for stopping by for another food review. I'll see you next time.